Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dr. Brady Weirich from Sensor Medica Clinics. And what I'm gonna do in this video is introduce you to Spine 3D. Spine 3D is a non-invasive way of, taking, of measuring spinal angles from the thoracic spine through the lumbar spine. It's a great tool for analyzing what those angles are, looking at spinal biomechanics and helping patients understand uh, how, what the health of their spine is through this particular device. Now, this is not x-ray, does not replace x-ray. However, it is a great tool for sitting down with a patient and showing them where the issues are in their spine and how corrective procedures might help get them a better quality of life. It is an imbursable procedure. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through with you how easy it is to actually get the acquisition. I laugh about those old Geico commercials about so easy that a caveman can do it, but it really is that easy. So I'm gonna show you how that process is done I'm also gonna walk you through the report that's generated from this device and how it applies to even a personal injury clinic uh, and just how quickly and how effective those reports are. So we'll do that with you in this video as well. So uh, without anything else, let's just jump in. Let me show you how this is done and we can talk about it. So thanks. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just walk through how easy the acquisition part of this is. Uh, my colleague Marco is nice enough to, to model for us um, but basically what you do is you come into the device and you're going to add a patient and then you go through and add all of the uh, demographic information for that patient and click save. In this case, I've already done that. And so Marco is all ready to fire up right here. Now, the device can take a picture that you can use for an identifier in the patient's file. Uh, that is not necessary, but you can do it. So I'm going to click on Marco's name here and then I'm going to hit add an exam and it's gonna bring up an image of his back, which we wanna be about in the middle of the back. Okay. Now, um, for the purpose of this video, we're doing it a little bit differently, but when you're doing this in a patient exam, it is good to have the pants down just a little bit lower, so just a little bit more of the natal cleft is exposed so the computer can get an accurate measurement. With, they do need to be um, shirtless, so with women, what we do in our clinic is we will actually put them in a gown and then when it's time to take the, um, to do the acquisition, the patient just crosses her arms and grabs that gown this way and just pulls it forward, but keeps the gown up so she stays modest, yet her spine is still exposed so we can do the acquisition. So this is already set to go. So all I'm gonna do is click start and the machine takes about 30 seconds to do its thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is go through and make sure that these points are accurate and the ones you have to worry about are the shoulder on the left and the shoulder on the right, which should be about halfway between the axilla and the top of the shoulder. And then this mark here is at that C7 prominence. And then this one here is right at, that, at the top of the natal cleft. And then these, the, this is the left and right sacral dimples. Uh, make sure those are in the right place and then we're going to click save. And now we have the report. Now on the report, you can actually overlay an x-ray if you have an, a matching x-ray, uh, but you can go through and actually uh, look at the slices of the different levels. You can put the photo over top of the spine. You can rotate his spine from side to side or coronally so you can show these patients exactly where the issues are in your spine. And then we can click on report and actually look at the report that's automatically generated. I will go through that report with you in the next segment. Okay, as promised, I wanted to share with you what the report actually looks like from uh, Spine 3D. This report is automatically generated. So again, your staff can do the actual exam and it takes them all of about five minutes. And then this report that we're looking at here is automatically generated. So uh, there are so many things you can show the, the patient on screen, uh, different angles and so forth of the spinal reconstruction, but then you can actually print this and hand it to them. Also, you can print this or you can send this as a PDF to um, their attorney and so forth. But this is what the report actually looks like. So it goes through and talks about spinal length, spinal inclination, uh, so if they have a forward leaning inclination, you're going to see that right there. It's going to talk about sagittal imbalance, cervical lordosis depth. It shows um, lumbar lordosis and this cervical arrow measurement, which is basically 
um, a, a perpendicular line to the kyphotic apex uh, going straight up and then the depth between that C7 prominence out to that vertical line and so forth. Uh, there's the same thing for lumbar arrow. It actually measures kyphotic angle, lordotic angle, and then shows a representation of trunk length, um, coronal imbalances, trunk imbalances, shoulder obliquity. This is great. I, um, it'll show a actual, this particular patient. So this is Marco. We actually work with him here. Uh, he had a five millimeter shoulder obliquity, which that's pretty hard to see. Um, and that translates to a 0 0.73 shoulder degree shoulder tilt. It's going to show us a vertebral deviation uh, and then also surface rotation, which I think is huge. And then last but not least, it's going to talk about pelvic tilt. So it'll actually take those, those sacral dimples and will show us um, how far that they're off balance, uh, knowing the, the importance of SI work. I think that's, that's huge there. And then last but not least, there's a written description that's automatically generated from uh, from the actual exam that'll tell you all this information that I just went through, but just in written form. Automatically generated, generated within seconds, um, and it's easily printed and given to your patient or emailed out either way. So uh, that is the report that's generated from Spine3D. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so there you have it. I've shown you how easy it is to do the acquisition with, uh, with Spine3D. I've gone through the reports for you. Uh, now, if you want to talk about this one-on-one -on -one and figure out, you know, if this is a good fit for your practice and how it can help you, be happy to schedule some time. Just feel free to reach out and contact us. Contact us. We can go through what the options look like, what the financing options look like, and how this can uh, give your practice that boost like it has mine. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.